science man is back in the town Always something cool So stick around and after this short intro You will see Do try this at home with Mr. G Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home I'm your host, Mr. G, and Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. Well, what's so extraordinary about today's Do Try This at Home? Well, to start with, I wanted to address something that viewers have been talking about before I even tell you about what today's little project is. Now, some viewers out there have noted that I, Mr. G, look somewhat like, I guess, or resemble Dr. House, or Basically, his name is Gregory House on the show House. His real name, I believe, is Hugh Laurie. But um, I, I don't really see that great of a resemblance, but a lot of people have been saying that. However, there are some strange parallels that have been occurring between his life in the show and my life here as Greg or Mr. G. That's actually my real first name, Greg. Or Gregory is the whole name. Um, to start with, I recently tore my left calf muscle while flying boomerang, yes, and um, very painful and also a very strange sensation of to feel your muscle almost like makes a popping sound if your muscle tears. Very, uh, very unnerving to say the least. But now I walk around with a limp. Can you believe it? Just like House. Great. Um, another thing too, you see House always popping pills? Well, because of the severe pain of tearing a muscle in my calf, um, I had to be treated with some pain medication as well, um, and therefore uh, occasionally will, usually at night when I go to bed, will have to take a pain pill for my leg. Another strange parallel to me and Dr. House. Um, however, my limp will go away, and I will be back flying boomerang, hopefully sooner than later. They say about six weeks till it's healed. Um, tell you what, with spring here, and it's very nice outside, it's really been bugging me quite a bit. I can't get out there and have a lot of fun like I normally do. But anyway, what is today's show about? It's about Heron's Fountain, or the Hero, or Hero's Fountain. Now, why is it called that? Well, because a physicist named Heron discovered this little gem. It's really cool. And he was also known as the Hero of Alexandria. That's right. So, what is, what is it about this that is so amazing and so cool? Well, one thing is, is a lot of people say it's a perpetual motion machine. No, it isn't. There's no such thing as a perpetual motion machine. Trust me on this. However, mine doesn't last for very long when it runs because I wanted to show you how you can make it out of just ordinary household items. And what are those items? Well, three empty bottles, water bottles. You're going to need about five standard drinking straws. If I can get them picked up here. You're going to need a drill bit that's just slightly smaller than the straws, just barely smaller than the straws. And you're going to want to start out by drilling holes into the bottle caps. Two holes on each side of the cap next to each other. And then you want to use one of the caps as a pattern to drill holes in all three of the caps. Then you want to take one of the caps and place it on the bottom of one of your bottles near the center and drill holes in the bottom of the bottle. Then you're going to need some glue. I use welder glue on today's project. And you're going to need a pair of scissors or a knife to cut one of the bottles in half like you see on the top of my fountain right here. Now I'm going to show you this fountain up close in a, just a couple of seconds so you can see how the straws are configured and exactly how this works. But if you use very thin tubing, your stream of water that comes up in the fountain will go much, much, much slower and almost appear to be moving perpetually like a perpetual motion machine. But let's show you how it works before we even talk any more about it. To start with, I take the bottom cup off like that, and I fill the, the bottom bottle with some water. Now I'm going to use blue water here. I've colored it with some blue food coloring so that we will so that we will be able to see it better there on the camera. Now, I'm going to take the water like that in the bottom bottle. A lot of people don't know how to fill these back up. They use it and they're like, well, how do I fill it? It looks like this. We're going to screw the cap back on the bottom bottle, hopefully, there we go, I think. You want to make sure it's on there nice and tight, and I've got my glue all pretty secure, I believe. So at this point in time, I'm going to turn the whole thing over, and you'll notice that it will fill the middle bottle. 
Now this is just priming the whole assembly or getting it ready. Now we may put a few drops of water down on the table here, no big deal. But once that little bottle is full, watch this. This is the most amazing little trick. It's really cool. We're going to turn the whole thing over. Now look at this. Here we've got our water in the middle bottle and some water here at the bottom bottle. There's a little bit of water left. Now we're going to start out here by, by filling the top container. I hope you can all see this real well. I'm going to put water in here, just a little bit, to get the whole thing started. And look at this. Look at this. All by itself, it is spouting water, if you can see that well or not, out of the top fountain here. Look at that. Here we're getting a little bit of dripping because I've got a little leaking it looks like going on, but it's no big deal. And look at this. It is actually just seeming to defy the laws of physics as we know them and shoot water out of the top of the whole fountain here. Yeah, I've got a little leak here. That's not a good thing. If you have a leak, you want to seal that a little bit better than what I've got sealed here. I think it's simply because my top bottle's not tight. But that water will continue to go up through there until all the water is out of the middle container, especially if it's more airtight. Mine's not real airtight. However, well, it is still flowing. I know you can't really see that. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to you so you can actually see the water come out of the top of the fountain. Let me turn it back over. We're going to lose a little bit here. Let me turn the whole thing back over and get it so that the middle bottle is filled back up. And then I'll show it to you up close. And you can see how the straws are then placed through the holes in the caps and into the bottles. And you'll get an understanding and an idea of how to make your very own Hero or Heron's Fountain. Now, here we have it. And we're going to pour some water in the top, as you see. And look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Truly amazing. And there you have it, either the Heron or Hero's Fountain. Heron's or Hero's Fountain. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to show you exactly how to construct your own Hero Fountain or Hero's Fountain. You've got one straw here that you'll see is real long. It goes all the way up to the base up here of this whole thing. A little bit of glue on that. There we go. And that straw goes just to the very bottom of the top container, through the holes, clear down to the very bottom of the bottom bottle here. Then you've got another straw which goes near the top of the bottom bottle, through both the holes, and up to about, the, about an inch from the top of the center bottle here, okay? And then we've got yet another straw which goes near the bottom of the center bottle. It comes up as your spout. Now I had to glue straws together to make them long enough. When you're all done, you can put this bottle back on here. You can unscrew this bottle from, from right here and fill it up like I showed you how. And then turn it over to get it primed. And hope you can see how those straws are in there okay. See how that's made? You can pause and, and take a closer look at how those are actually put in. But there you have it. The Hero's Fountain. I better put this in here before I make an even bigger mess than I already have. And I've got the wood block here, you probably wonder what that's for, as something you can drill down on without damaging your table. I'm Mr. G. See you next time on Do Try This at Home! to any medication. But, well, my phone rings at the most inopportune times. Okay, let's start this over. Well, one of the, one of the very most, yeah, let's try that over. So, I will show you how this operates, and it's very interesting. And it's got hair on it. And I'll show you how to make one, too. Let's start that over. I'm your host, Mr. G, and do try this as home as this home? <laughs>